Hi, Alex. Hello. Welcome to the PRT Podcast. Thank you. So nice to have you here again. Again, round two. Round two. Last time we had you on our World Mental Health Day panel. Yes. But we've never actually spoken to you on your own. No, I'm excited to be here. Have a good little deep chat. A good deep a chat. A good deep chat. Well, we're really excited. You've been up to a lot of amazing things recently. Yeah. And we just can't wait to get to know everything that's been happening with you. Because there is a lot, isn't there? <laughs> yeah, it's been a whirlwind. Real, like, transformational transitional phase for me so yeah. yeah a lot has happened I've just got so many questions to ask you I can't <laughs> hold myself back from starting but first of all I want to take it back to kind of the beginning so let's mm -hmm. go back to 2018 when you first found out you were going in the villa mm -hmm. how was it finding out that you were going to be going through that experience well that's actually uh, a funny journey in itself um I've touched on this a few times before mm. um with various other people but I originally kind of had first chats about going in the villa and you know, way back in February right. before the show. Um, so I turned it down a couple of times. Did you? Yeah, I think, you know, maybe had I said or agreed to do it in the beginning, maybe mm -hmm. I could have gone on as an original. I don't know, maybe my yeah. journey would have been very different. Um, but I only found out that I was going in the villa 10 days before I went in. So I didn't have any time to kind of like prepare myself, mm -hmm. nothing. So I just mm -hmm. went on as me, um, like my most authentic self. But it was such a whirlwind from the minute I said yes, it was like, okay, cool, you've got to do this, then you've got to do this, then you've got to meet this person, then you're packing your bags and then you're gone. Wow. So I'm actually grateful it happened like that because I didn't really have time to think about Process it too much and just like, you know, think of the negative things. I was like, oh, this is just exciting. So um, I just went in and, you know, it was a, a huge shock to the system walking mm -hmm. in there especially as a girl on my own, there yeah. was no one there to kind of hold my hand or like confide in. It was like, okay, you're in there now. There you go. Off you pop. Yeah, so that was, yeah, very overwhelming, but what an amazing experience. Mm. And what changed your mind? You said that you turned it down a couple of times, but what changed your mind? Like actually, no, I am gonna take this opportunity. Um, I guess that year, well, the reason I said no in the beginning was my parents were quite ill okay. um, and I just, I'm a huge believer in like law of attraction mm. and you know, being shown certain things aren't like, certain things will appear to you as and when they're meant to. Mm -hmm. um, and I just, I didn't feel like it was the right timing for me when, you know, the opportunity first yeah. presented itself. I just, I didn't feel like in the right mindset. It just wasn't something that I wanted to do. And then as the year went on and then I saw the, you know, the show was on and mm. I'd reached a kind of point in my career where I was like, I don't actually know what I'm doing. I don't know. Mm. And so the third time I got asked or approached to do it, I just felt like, yeah, what am I doing? This could be a really great opportunity. And my mindset was completely different. Right. Um, so I just thought, okay, this could be amazing. Um, so I just took it with both hands really. And I thought, you know, the fact that this is maybe the third time that I've been approached. Yeah. Like things happen in threes, but you know, everyone's mm. got a different level of, the threes, like how often that could be. But yeah, yeah the third time it, it presented itself to me, I was like, okay, what what is going on here? Like, just to see what happens. So I did, and here I am. And here you are. And <laughs> here we are. I, I pretty much know the answer to this, but would you know? Would you say it's quite a life-changing experience? It's been a life-changing experience. But honestly, I know everybody has a different experience from it. Yeah. But the best experience I've ever had like completely life-changing in such a positive way. So I'm so grateful for that show because mm. I wouldn't be doing the things that I'm doing if it wasn't mm. for that, probably. That's amazing to hear, but you did face a series of, well, a battle with mental health problems when you came out. And yeah. it must have been pretty intense being thrown into the limelight and then, you know, being thrown into all the press that you did face. Like, how did you cope with that when you came out of the villa? Uh, it is hard. It's really hard. I'm very lucky in the sense that I've got a great support network mm -hmm. of friends and family that just keep me grounded and keep yeah. me real and keep me, you know, like Alex, come on, reality check, you know? Mm. Um, so I'm really grateful for those people in my life and like all my friends, you know, people say to me, oh, you know, I don't see you hanging around with a lot of the other people from, yeah. you know, the villa and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, we're, like we're friends, but my friends are my friends that I've grown up with for like the last 10 years plus. Yeah. Like my friendship circle is tight. Mm. And they're the people that have been with me. They've seen me go through my worst times. Mm -hmm. um, and they're the people I keep around me because they're the people that are gonna tell me about myself when I need to be told. Yeah. Like, you know, stop doing this or not even stop doing this, but like, 
take me back to a time that, you know, they've seen me go through and they'll be like, do you remember when this happened and mm, how you mm. felt at that time? Like they know me in and out. Yeah. So um, those are the people I keep around me. But yeah, I mean, in terms of mental health, like it's been up and down. Um, and also battles that you don't really see that aren't publicly spoken about. Yeah. Like, you know, I put a lot of my life on Instagram, mm. but when I came out, nobody really knew that, you know, my mum's cancer had flared up and she was going through chemotherapy and I was traveling up like here, there and everywhere. And I was living out of a suitcase, but in the back of my mind, I'm like, my mum could die at any moment. Mm. Like, and you want to embrace everything that is being given to you. And then, but then I'm like, I need to be at home. And yeah. it's like, you're trying to just manage, you know, everyone goes through struggles. Mm. Nobody's life is perfect. And everyone's going through their own battles and it's trying to manage those stresses as best as you can. Mm. Um, and I felt guilty for not being at home, but then my mum's like, you know, why would you be at home? Because what you can't help my situation. You should go out and take these opportunities. Yeah. And, and I'm like, yeah, you're right. And but then I'm like, but time is valuable. So it's this constant ongoing battle. Mm. And then, you know, when you're busy, you kind of let other things slip so you don't exercise or you're just on the go. So you're grabbing things and then that can have an effect on your mental health because you're mm. grabbing things which don't make you feel good about yourself. So like you're eating badly and you're not getting the exercise or the activity that you need. Mm. And, you know, just contributing factors. Life can get can kind of take over control a little bit yeah and then you feel out of control and that's just the point that I got to and I just needed to regain some control again in my life but yeah it's a massive whirlwind and opinions from people that you don't want to hear or yeah you know even just hearing you say those things face to face to me now I mean I've followed you since you're in the villa and I've seen your sort of IGTV stories where you are quite open with your audience and you know open about your own sort of struggles or your you know mm. your day-to-day -day life but hearing it here now is so much different. Yeah. Um, because I can really see how, you know, how you fueled where you are now, which yeah. I'm gonna go into in a minute because mm -hmm. I, I think that's maybe where it's come from, but we're yeah. gonna go into that in a second. But before we do, I wanna ask, are you watching the new series? I haven't yet. Have you not? I've I been, didn't think you had, you know. I've been I've, watching you. <laughs> well, literally, I couldn't last night because I was on the train that's here. That's it, that's it, that's how I knew. So I, I couldn't, um, but I've been so, busy yeah since you know everything is launched mm -hmm. and um you know it's it's a good problem to have like I'm not complaining at all and it's been so incredible and I'm so grateful for everything um yeah I don't I, I don't know like it feels so weird having a winter show yeah it does it is weird it does feel weird it is it's like show. an odd time of the year but I mean it's so strange sitting at home because it's hot there and you're like oh my god we're freezing yeah. in our you know, onesies or pajamas or whatever, hoodies yeah. and things. So it is strange, but I'm gonna have to watch it on catch up. Yeah, you I need think. to watch it on catch up. It is good. It's been good. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna lie, it's been good. Um, but what, as a ex contestant, what would you not an ex contestant, but as a previous contestant, yeah. what advice would you give to anyone that's in the villa now? I'd say, and I know this is like really cliche. Just be you. Mm. Don't try to be anyone else because when you <clears throat> come out you just, it's really hard to like put up this front of like, this is the person that I am. Mm -hmm. Just be you because then you can never have any regrets and be like, you know, just stay true to who you are because then you can look back and be like, I know even if like they came out at a certain point or mm. they wanted to carry on or whatever, whatever path they take, you can look back and be like, in confidence, I've done that because it was the right thing for me. Yeah. Nobody else. Yeah. Um, and that's how I've always tried to live my life just so I can, I can sleep with peace. You know, I can put my head on my pillow at night mm. and be like, do you know what? I've got no regrets yeah. because everything I've done in my life, I've wanted to do at that time and it was my decision mm -hmm. and nobody else can take that control away from me. It's all about control and peace yeah. of mind. Um, so yeah, just be true to yourself. I think that's really important. Yeah, but just what, have a good time. What do you think will be going through their minds right now? It must be pretty scary. Yeah, it is, it's so scary. And you know, people say, oh, do you forget about the cameras being there? You never forget. Like you're always yeah, aware yeah, that they're yeah. there. You just become more comfortable with them. I'm 28 now. Mm. And when I was in the villa, I was 27. Mm. So I was a little bit older. I can't imagine what it must be like as a 21, 22 year old yeah. being in there. If I'd have put my 21, 22 year old self in there, different ball game. I would have entered the whole thing in a completely different way. Mm. And um, I would have been a party animal when I came out. 
But because I'm a little bit older and I, mm. I kind of got all that out my system, my approach to things is completely different. Yeah. So uh, my priorities are different and, you know, people are gonna do what they wanna do at mm. the end of the day. But I guess I've come out with a bit of like, you know, a bit more of a business head on my shoulders. Yeah. And like, I wanna buy a house and, you know, different things are appealing mm. to me now. Whereas back then I wanted to be part of the cool crew and, yeah. you know, it was fun and like boys, 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 you know? <laughs> so, yeah. um, you know, my intentions are different. Mm -hmm. So I can not I can only speak from being, you know, a bit more of a mature yeah. adult, but maturity doesn't necessarily come with age. So yeah, it's just each person is different. Just yeah, try and exactly. take away from the experience what you want from it. Mm -hmm. I want to get on to the big news. We're all going deep. I yeah. want to get on to the big news, which yeah. is, of course, the happy body plan. Yes. First of all, congratulations. Thank you. Oh, my God. When you stepped out with these bikini pictures, stepping out the wall, I was like, I think you shook the internet. <laughs> I think everyone on Instagram was like, hold on. Hold Whoa. on. Like, yeah. tell me about it. What What inspired you to create this for, for other people? Well, it actually started just from, like, my own personal journey, really. Right. It's like, I started just taking steps in you know what I thought was the right direction to mm. getting myself feeling better mm. and then it all just it was like a domino effect really and then you know we were like should we put this out like what I'm doing and it just it kind of had its natural process really right. and we just wanted to share it with everyone like this is what we're doing and then it's it's just again another whirlwind that's just happened and it's actually really simple Really simple. I mean, I'm I'm dying to know. I've already asked you when you stepped into the room and I know you've said that loads of people are asking you, how have you done it? I mean, I can yeah. confirm in person, So you look amazing. I mean, I think as humans, we like to overcomplicate the situation because, mm. you know, in the fitness world, there are so many variables. Like there yeah. are so many gray areas. You talk to one trainer, their way of doing things is gonna be different to another person, to another mm. person, to mm. another person. And I think the beauty of it is you've got to find what works for you. You've got to find, like, everyone's got a different lifestyle. We've yeah. all got different jobs, different, you know, people have got kids, people haven't got kids. People work night shifts, people work three times a week. Like, mm. everyone has got their own routines and it's just finding what works for you, what your goals are, et cetera, et cetera. If you, my plan is about feeling happy from within yourself mm. and just what I've always stood by, being the best version of you trying to incorporate some level of activity throughout the day. Yeah. Um, short, sharp bursts, which are gonna have maximum effect and just being mindful with your nutrition plan. And it's not like you have to cut out any food groups. Right. You you know, you can still have chocolate, you can still have carbohydrates, the one thing that everybody, no carbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, you don't have to cut any of that out, but it's more of just like, it's a guide mm -hmm. to getting you onto whatever path you wanna be on. Um, and if you can, if I could make it fun and just get people doing something, yeah, that for me is like, okay, cool. You're starting on your own journey and, and it's enjoyable and it's endurable. Mm -hmm. Because if you put out and like, you've got to lift this much weight and then you've got to yeah. do it for this amount of time and you've got to eat this much protein, that's a lot mm -hmm. to take on. And I couldn't take on that because I was suffering with an injury and like, mm -hmm. you know, on top of your day-to-day -day life, having to then think about oh my god how many grams of protein am I eating it's mm. like if you know my plan is about calorie counting if you want to lose weight you have to be in a deficit right so you have to eat less than what you burn during the day I was about to say like someone you need to explain that to me because it's so confusing so, for someone that doesn't know so I'm not a nutritionist no. right and I'm well I hold my hands up and say I'm not a nutritionist and I'm not a personal trainer but what I do have is both of the people that have done the work with me on yeah. my plan. Yeah. So they're the people that are credible and qualified that are on there that have given the advice. Mm. And I'm there just saying, this is my story and this is how and I've it's done clearly it. And, worked. and this has worked for me and this yeah. is what I'm sharing. So it's up to other people if they wish to like join me, you know? Yeah. Um, and it's been incredible. And so the calorie counting is basically, every food has got calories, even liquids mm -hmm. have got calories. Mm -hmm. And um, it's just about learning your food. So you can overeat eating what we think are healthy foods. So like avocados. Yeah, I've nuts. heard that. They're amazing for you. They're but really nutrient dense. They're good fats to have, but they're really high in calories and it's right. just portion control. Um, you know, there's chocolate bars out there that are more calories than others. So I just go for the lower calorie options. Mm. I mean, now, now I'm not trying to, well, I wasn't trying to lose weight in the beginning, but I was 
eating because I was training mm. and the more my fitness was improving, mm -hmm. I then started to go towards the um, the foods that would fill me up for the longest. Yeah. Because I was training, so I needed the most energy and ones that weren't making me as hungry. Right. And just fueled my body better. Yeah. So um, I, it's kind of like you're self-taught. So like, these are your calories, go figure it out. You yeah. know? So you've got to see what works for you kind of thing. Yeah. So interesting. And so then I was like, okay, cool. It, if I want to eat more, that means I can eat loads more, but it has to be vegetables. So now I'm like right. plates full of vegetables and like chicken and prawns and like, I love making vegetable curries and yeah. things like that and put my own herbs and spices. Like I do a lot of home cooking. Which is so good for you as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's it? amazing. So... But you know, I appreciate not everyone's got the time to do that. So. Yeah just calorie counting like just be aware of the packets of your food like if you want to lose weight mm. you have to eat less than what your body would burn so you have to take into consideration like the amount of activity you do throughout the day right some people are more active in their jobs some people have got desk jobs mm. so if you've got a desk job the 10 minute workouts that i offer are perfect because yeah. it's 10 minutes in in your day on your lunch break if you want to do Thinking it or, i need to go and do one after this literally in the morning, i'd advise doing it in the morning <laughs> right, because okay. your stresses are minimal yeah in right. the morning so as you know you get up your train could be delayed mm. you forget something at home or you've locked yourself out and that's already stressed you out and then you go to work and then you've got numerous things that could affect your day which are going to mm. annoy you and then by the time you get home you've already eaten a couple of things that you weren't so proud of and then you're feeling lazy and then yeah. you're like, oh, I'm tired. I'm just going to get into my PJ. Yeah. And you can't be bothered. So yeah. already you've accumulated like a list of things as to why you're talking yourself out of doing some mm -hmm. le level of activity. Whereas if you start just 10 minutes of your day, okay, yeah. set yourself aside 10 minutes, set your morning right. I've done it. And then you feel good about your day. And you're like, I've done it. Yeah, and then the guilt tough. doesn't come into play. You know, so a lot of it is psychology as well mm, mm. Um, and preparation and organization. I've become a bit OCD, I think. I'm obsessed. I can just keep listening. To yeah, it but it's just planning yeah. and just being mindful of things. And um, yeah, I just, I like to be a planner. I've got a hell of a lot of lists. Now. Have you? Yeah. But you can do all of your workouts at home, can't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As don't well. need a gym. So that's a good thing. So if I were to go and do a 10 minute workout tomorrow morning, which, you know, I think I should go and try, definitely. Yeah. Um, it's just body weight. But the thing is, everyone's like, oh my God, it's just 10 minutes. But it's mm. literally like, they're burners. Like, they get your heart rate going. Right. Um, there's jumps, there's lunges, they're like full body workouts burpees. You were doing them before. I'm like, oh, that's that yeah. looks painful to me I mean, already. <laughs> yeah. I mean, a burpees used to be my most hated exercise. I like, think my mine. God. And now I love them. Really? Love them. Throw them in there any day. Get, throw them at me. <laughs> yeah, I love them. But that's that's the most amazing thing is like when I first started all of this, a minute of exercise for me doing full out at 80% heart rate. Right. Really struggled. And yeah. I'd have panic attacks. I'd have to walk out during the mid session. Right. And like catch my breath and like reset myself and come back. God. So even just the fitness side of things, now when I come back and do it mm. and I'm killing it and I'm like, give me more. Already I'm like, the person you were and the person you are now in terms of fitness is insane. Yeah. You know, and I will, sometimes when I do um, like hit sessions with a group of people and they're like, Alex, like your fitness is incredible now. It's amazing. Absolutely incredible because the hit sessions, Again, I'm not a PT, so this is all scientifically, you know, scientific studies mm. have happened to prove that 10 minutes of high intensity training mm. at heart, like 80% heart rate have the same effects as doing one hour of wow. aerobic cardio. Wow. But you have to work at that level yeah. for it to be beneficial. And then after that, you get 24 to 48 hours of fat burn after. God. Whereas if you just do a two hour walk, okay, cool, you're you're doing that activity for mm. that amount of time, but it doesn't carry on fat burning. Right. It's just throughout that period. So the benefits of it are amazing. Um, and that is the science behind it really. So mm. I love a bit of science. 
who doesn't love a bit of you science? know because it's that's factual it. well, yeah it's exactly. fact you can't like it's been proven and if you know that's happening you're like okay so this 10 minutes and you can fit it into your day like fitting yeah. a two-hour walk in is more difficult than a 10 minute walk yeah but so i'm right in thinking you started this sort of process for yourself before things did the plan come about was it yeah so an initial idea yeah no for me the the plan was never like set out from right. the beginning like my God, I felt so rubbish in myself, mm. literally about four or five months ago. And I just hit a block, like I just had my birthday and um, it was, I guess it was almost like a year after I'd been in the villa. Yeah. And it was like a reflection moment, like, okay, what am I doing mm. again? Mm, yeah. um, where is my life going? How do I feel at this current moment? And I spoke out on Instagram and I was just like, I just feel rubbish mm. like I don't know what to do mm. and I don't know what's triggering it um and I just from my dance experience of being a ballroom dancer back in the day and I used to yeah. do ballet and everything that for me was an escape right. and I knew that it made me feel good mm. and like when I used to do my dance training an hour out of my time was like it was almost like therapy yeah because you're not thinking about your stresses of day-to-day -day life mm. and you're just away whether that's whether you're an artist, whether you do painting, whether you do ice skating, whether you do, I don't know, knitting, whatever it is, yeah, it's an hour or however long out of your day that you're not thinking about life. And so I was like, right, I, I need to just engage in some sort of activity, mm. whatever it may be. And I, through my mutual friend, I met my trainer. Right, okay. And he lived 10 minutes around the corner from me. He's like, why don't you just come down and just, you know, we'll, we'll start, we'll, figure out what's going on yeah. mm -hmm. and we'll just get you moving. And um, so I was like, oh, I hate hit. Like <laughs> you didn't do I'd it. never done any <laughs> of it. Like I'd always just done strength training or technique. Like I used to do, yeah. you know, I used to do weights and things like that. And I did enjoy weights, but it was because I, it was what I was good at. And nobody ever likes to do the thing that they're not good at. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So I was like, oh God, this is gonna be hell. And then I started and again, the panic attacks came. And I was like, I'm not good at this. And then I split up with my boyfriend and like there was a whole bunch of stuff mm. going on. And, but I was like, Alex, you're a fighter, come on. And my trainer, he is so in tune with women. It's like, he's a God. Really? Like he just knows how to get you to keep coming back. His like, name's Aaron Phillips, isn't it? Yeah. So he's been labeled the guru of transformation. He's like, is that right? transformation guru. Yeah, he's like Mr. Motivator. Wow. Yeah, that's what you call but him like he, that. he like, he kills you with love. And that's one thing I've learned is that you get the best from people when you kill them with love. Right. And every day I just kept going back and I was like, do not give up, do not give up, do not give up. Like you've got this, Alex. Mm. And it's all about mindset and he kept, Whatever it was, his sprinkle of magic, it was working. And I kept going back every day. And sure enough, the results started to come mm. mentally as well. And then the panic attacks stopped. And I was like, whoa, my brain fog went. I was starting to become so much more productive. My yeah. energy levels were improving. I wasn't tired anymore. I used to ha like want to have naps during the mm. day. And I just, I felt like, you know in Cinderella, where the fairy godmother kind of mm -hmm. goes like that with her wand, and then all of a sudden you just see like this sprinkle of like glitter and she just transforms. That is how I feel. That's like what I feel has happened to me. Like a, gl a genuine glow up. A genuine glow up. A genuine glow up, like a real life glow up. And you know, people see the physical on Instagram, yeah. but I, I really can't put into words the feeling from within. Mm. And that's why I'm just like, guys, just do it, please. Because I want you to feel how I felt. Yeah. And I said this to someone earlier, you know that song, Britney Spears, not yet, I'm not a girl, but not yet a woman. Love that song. I feel like every girl knows that song. Yeah. So the last few years of my life, I felt like that. I'm not a girl, but I'm not yet a woman. Mm. And this right now, I feel like I am a woman now. Like I've stepped into my own and I'm ready to take on the world. I feel like superwoman. So whatever that is and what Aaron has done for me mm. and just even just like the whole mindset of like, why do I eat, you know, my emotional relationship with food? Am I eating out of boredom? Am I yeah. eating because I'm upset? And if you can get your mind right, your mind is so powerful. Like your mind has the ability to do anything and it's your power. I could give you all the tools in the book mm. box 
and I can tell you this is my plan. But you have got to be able to do it. It's all yeah, you. Yeah. You know? So to be able to motivate people to be like, okay, I have the control mm. to be able to do this and getting people to do it for themselves. That's the whole point of the plan. It's 10 minutes. The nutrition side of it is not that strict. Yeah. It's just calorie counting. So whatever you choose to do with that, you're in control. Yeah. And we've tried to make it as simple as possible for you for, for however in your day you want to incorporate that, mm. you know? It's not hard, it's not difficult. In fact, it's really, really simple and it works and it's effective. And if in your day, if you're a mum or you're working three jobs or for whatever reason, you can't get to the gym or don't want to go to the gym, because yeah. let's face it, the gym can be a really intimidating place. Definitely. You don't have a clue what you're doing or you've got an injury or whatever it is, just get active and just get, you know, improve your knowledge with your foods. And that's it. Just taking a step in in a, mm. in a direction of feeling better. It's about feeling like, that's why I've called it happy body. Yeah, It's like, you know, okay, weight loss is a byproduct of, of doing all of those things, mm -hmm. getting more active and getting more yeah. knowledgeable about yeah. the foods, but also the internal effect that it has by fueling yourself with those right foods and being active, like exercise releases endorphins. Yeah. The same way it, you know, eating sugar and or refined sugars and carbohydrates mm. release serotonin into your body. But why don't you choose the exercise over those, you know, the yeah, other things? Yeah, yeah. Because it lasts longer. Like the feeling that you get from doing the exercise is insane. Already, like I did a live workout on my Instagram the mm. other day and, um, you know, the amount of people that joined in with me and they're like, I feel amazing after just doing that. It sets you up. Yeah. Join on board the happy train. You I know? love it. Yeah. I, feel, I feel like I wish people could come and sit where I am now and hear it straight from you because you will have noticed then the whole way through Smiling. when you're talking. I was grinning like ear to ear like yeah. because I can feel the energy from you and I can't even explain it. Like the happiness coming from you and like your positive energy is you're not something the first I'm not person actually experiencing. To say that. Like, honestly, I'm yeah. really taken back by it. But like Aaron was that for me. And it's like this energy is being passed on and I want to give that I to that. other people because I feel like I get goosebumps every time I talk about it because I'm I getting just, goosebumps, genuinely. It's like this energy is like building up from within. It's like so much happiness. It's yeah. like, and people are like, you can't be that happy all the time. I'm like, I'm not that happy all the time. No. Because of life, like things happen. Mm. But the point is, is like what the plan that I've put out there is something there that can change that. Yeah. If you do the 10 minutes and you fuel yourself right, that is enough to get you feeling better. Mm. And, um, you know, already like we've been, I mean, 10 days into the plan and people are sending their results over. And I I'm know, like, I'm seeing. Whoa. And one girl's like, you know, I went to, um, I had cognitive behavioral therapy or I've been going through it. Okay. And last week she sent me a message, said this is the first time I've gone to see my therapist and I've had nothing but positive things to say for the first time. And it's like, it's messages like that. And you know, my anxiety for the first time, I haven't yeah. suffered with anxiety. It's like people go deep in the messages that they send me and it, it really is transformational. You mentioned there's some negative comments. How has the reaction been for you generally? What's it been like? Uh, mixed, yeah, definitely mixed. I think, you know, going through any form of like transition, mm. especially with so many people watching and yeah. so many opinions, mm -hmm. it's really hard. And what I have noticed is obviously, again, cause I'm not a personal trainer because I'm not a, new, a qualified nutritionist yet. I will be doing a nutritionist course. Oh, really? Cause I'm so fascinated by it. Like this whole thing for me has been so eye opening and I, yeah. I really want to know more. Like I'm genuinely interested in it. Mm. Um, there's always people quick to criticize and, and things like that. It's gonna happen, but you mm. can't please everyone in life. Um, and I've just tried to make sure that I've done everything by the book and I've worked with some really incredible people who are credible. Yeah. And um, you know, the fitness industry is tough mm. because everyone's got their own way of doing things. And um, I've just, it's all science based, everything that I've done. Yeah. So it's all factual. Um, you can't really argue with it with and science. it's worked. So um, it's about feeling good and um, you know, I, you just got to take it with a pinch of salt because hey, the beauty of life, you can't please everyone. No. And if everyone thought 
everyone was wonderful, life would be pretty boring, to be honest. It's good to have opinions mm -hmm. um, and to also see other people's perspective because actually that's how you grow as a person is to be able to see Definitely. things from all different angles. Mm -hmm. um, but you just got to try and focus on the positive and not the negative and, you know, the wonderful comments that I get mm. that have really truly changed people's lives and people that are like, you know, I've had... I've got three kids and I've never been able to follow a plan this easy. And, wow. you know, they're like, this is so doable. Mm. This is so doable. People that are air hostesses and they're traveling, you know, here, there and everywhere. And they're in hotels all the time. And yeah. they're like, you know, I couldn't incorporate. I just, you know, I, I really struggle to go mm. to the gym and do any form of activity, but this is so achievable. Yeah. Um, and, and that's it really is keeping it as simple as possible. Like it is possible. Mm. But let's stop making it so difficult for ourselves. It's like, what's your secret? There is no yeah, secret. Yeah. It's really simple. And this is the slim simplicity of it. And I'm just trying to make it really fun. Yeah. And I just, I want it to be like, I'm your mate and I'm here doing it with you. These are the people that have made me feel amazing. We're gonna make you feel amazing. Yeah. Do it with us, join us. Like we're a little family, we're a little squad doing it together. My little happy body gang. And we've got a wicked Facebook group, which I'm really active on. Like I'm on there all the time. Did you and... reply to the comments? Canada? Yeah, I'm, inv really? I'm fully involved. Like they're that. my people. Like yeah. for God's sake, like this is something that I'm on this journey to with, with anyone who wants yeah. to take part. Like I am so hands on with it because we are in this together and I just, I couldn't step away from it. No. Because like I've been on the journey myself and I feel like to, get other people to um, join in with me. Like I have to share my own experience mm. because this is what I've done and I want them to feel the same. Like to me, it is personal. Yeah, It's massively personal because I've gone through it and I can tell them like, if you're having a bad day, get up and go again because those are the days that are important. Mm. You know, I yeah. can speak from my own experience. So that's why it's so important for mm. me to be really hands-on. Um, like the Instagram page, I'm on it daily. I'm posting stuff all the time. And it is a full-time job, yeah, but I definitely. do it because I care because I've done it. But with the 10 minute plans, so to get to where you are now, mm -hmm. has it just been the 10 minute plans? Is that how you've kind of done or do you do more no, in a day? So, how does so it there's, work? So there's been a lot of questions about that. Yeah. Um, Cause everyone's like 10 minutes. Da, da, da. So first of all, 10 minutes, just try it. It's really full on. It's really full on. I like, really want to go and try it. Full body burner and you'll be sweating by the end of it. Like yeah. they are really, really good. But of course, everyone's fitness levels are going to be different. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when I first started, I really struggled with one minute. Like I said about the panic yeah. attacks. But the more I got fitter, obviously 10 minutes became really easy for me. Mm. So then I started doing 20 and right. then it became 30. And then by the end of it, I could do a full hour and it was like a full hour's blast. But wow. I only needed to do that maybe an hour three times a week. You don't need to do more than an hour of hit three times a week to yeah. reap the benefits. Because like I said about the, the 24 to 48 hour fat burning, if right. that's your, what you want, it continues. So you don't need to be doing hit every day, mm. but obviously everyone's fitness levels are different. The reason for the 10 minute routines was if someone doesn't have a great level of fitness, a 10 minute routine is achievable. Yeah. It's, it's like, okay, I, it's realistic. I can do that. If you want to do more, do more. Mm -hmm by all means do more do what suits you and there's so many routines that you can choose you can switch and you know some are more difficult than others yeah. um there's ab routines like bonus ones on there like an ab blaster booty right. burner which i've done and they're hard like they're tough but obviously if you want to make them more difficult you can add dumbbells but right, the whole okay. idea of it is you don't need a gym to do it in yeah you can do it in your own home in your own time in your own way and make it work for you. Mm -hmm. There again, I've given you the tools. If you want to do 10 minutes or you want to do an hour, it's up to you. Okay. Whatever your fitness levels are, whatever is realistic for you, do that. Go and do it. You I know? need to go and try. Honestly, I can't, I'm sure there's loads of people listening now that are like, right, I need to go and try at least yeah. 10 minutes and see whether I can manage 10 minutes. Yeah. I might start on five or, or one. No, do Let's 10. <laughs> do, no, it's a full 10 minute routine, go. yeah. And then if you want to do more, you can do more. It makes complete sense to me. I really, I'm really definitely going to go. And yeah. Try. I'm intrigued. Very intrigued. Listen, don't, don't. We'll end up doing one after here. Yeah, we'll end we up should. doing one now. We should. You've got soft landings. <laughs> we do. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, we could be all right in case I fell over. Yeah. I probably you wouldn't would. fall over. <laughs> do you know, there's, there's one exercise in the first routine that <laughs> some girl said she punched herself in the face. Oh and she, my God. I was like, how have you managed that? 
But I mean, yeah, the coordination on one of the moves, it was pretty tricky, but there's there's even <laughs> been like a thread on the Facebook group saying, is anyone struggling with this coordination? So they're not the only ones like, I right. feel your pain. Like, But again, you get to. used to it the more you do those things. At yeah. first, if you haven't done them, you're not gonna be yeah. fantastic at them straight away. Yeah. Well, especially when it comes to coordination, because that is difficult. Yeah, it's just nice to see like a, a, a real community yeah. of people getting involved in the Facebook group. And that it's like, it, it's really amazing mm. actually to see all the girls, like they're setting up WhatsApp groups. It's not just for girls, like, but obviously there's a huge female following. Like guys yeah, can definitely get involved too. But yeah, it's definitely, you know, taken the lead by the females. And they're setting up WhatsApp groups, like wow. accountability groups, like, you know, they're checking in on each other on a daily basis. And I'm like, this is female Amazing. empowerment. Like I am loving this and I'm so involved in it because yeah. it makes me feel good. Making them feel good makes me feel good. And we all just make each other feel good. So did you ever imagine when you started your journey in the villa two years ago, was it now? That you would be in this Almost place now? Two Almost two years. Yeah, that you would like be. Or maybe two. one, one and a half or one, It's one and a half. <laughs> it's so bad yeah, it's because it's on now. It's because it's on now, my yeah. head's gone. Yeah, that's it. Would Did you ever imagine that you could be in this position now? No. Never, I, it wasn't even on the cards. Like, mm. yeah, no, I'm speechless. I guess you found your passion. Like I can tell yeah, right now it's your passion. Because I speak so po like positively and passionately about it. Like I love it. I absolutely mm. love it. And you know, the, the physique, cool. It's a part of things that, you know. It's a bonus. It's a bonus. But yeah, I feel great in a bikini. I want to live in a bikini now because I feel- I think you should. Incredible, but you know, I, I still get bloated. I still, you know, yeah. have female things, still get PMS. Like I'm still mm -hmm. a real woman. Yeah, exactly. I'm still me, I still yeah. hold the same morals and values, but I'm just, you know, I look at myself in the mirror, I'm like, who the hell is that? <laughs> so people take pictures of me, I'm like, that can't be me. <laughs> Change my whole wardrobe, everything. But wow. yeah, it literally is new year, new me. And how have your friends and family reacted to kind of your transformation? I can't believe it. Even my mum said to me, she's like, Alex, you're a diff you are a, like a different woman. But she sees me and she's like, you have leveled up, like mm. everything that you're doing. Mm. Um, she's like, I'm so proud of you. Just, I'm up before my alarm. I'm the first one mm. to get out, because I still live with my parents. Um, but this year I'm gonna buy my first property and... Um, Exciting. Yeah, it's really exciting. But it's more from the inside that I guess you see in the changes. Yeah, Obviously the physical is it. there, but it's... Yeah, it's she sees me. Every, she it. sees me every day, you know. So um, when someone sees you every day, it's kind of hard to be like, oh, like the mm. changes. It's when someone hasn't seen you for a really long time, and then you see they see yeah. you. But yeah, my mum's seen the the internal changes and like, you know, the anxiety and mm, I don't know if I had depression, but I definitely felt low. Um, but she's seen all that, and she's like, you are so on it. Like, yeah, I don't have to ask you a goddamn thing anymore because you've already done it like three days before. That must make us so proud and happy for yeah, you. Yeah, she doesn't ever have to like pick me up on anything now. She's like, have you done this? I'm like, yeah, mum, I've already done it. I'm on it. She's like, have you remember this? Yeah, three days ago. It's all yeah, right, yeah. it's done. And I'm so proactive and I'm so creative and I'm so like, I'm just on top form. It's brilliant. It's amazing to it's see. It's a good place to it be. It is actually for years amazing I was dossing to about. <laughs> she used to have but to- we've all been there. We've all been there. Everyone goes through that stage of their life, finding out what their passion is and finding out what direction you're going in. It's yeah. so hard. My mum used to come into my bedroom and literally have to scream at me to get out of bed. Come on, oh, you've been asleep for 16 hours. What are you doing? Like you don't have wow. a job, get out of yeah. bed. And she used to scream at me, go and get a job. Yeah. And now I'm but like- look at you now. You know, that's it. You're in your own. Swing. I know. I I'm in it. my element. And she's like, I don't know what to do now because now I've got no one to scream at. <laughs> to bust so, around. Yeah, yeah. So that's it's lovely to hear. Yeah, it's cool. Found and my groove. You have definitely found your groove. And something that you spoke about there was your dancing. Mm. Do you think that you'll ever incorporate any dance moves into the routines? Or Maybe. Is that, I mean, yeah, we're definitely looking at um, expanding and doing some different kind of plans for you know just. It, just expanding on what we've put so out exciting. already just to make it more fun. There's definitely room for a dance one. Do you know, I'd love putting this into the universe. I'd love to get someone from the Strictly <gasps> team and Ooh. do like a Zumba, um, kind of like a dance based plan. Guys, I feel like that would be really cool. Anyone from Strictly, if you're listening, just. I think that could be really cool. I like think that could be amazing, yeah. yeah. Put some sort of like dance plan out. Just and I definitely believe if anyone can do it, you can do it. Well, I used to do Latin and ballroom dancing, so. I need to see this. 
Yeah. You need to show the world. Like, I feel like well, I'm going to Cuba to... next week, so maybe I'll come back with a Cuban okay. husband. <laughs> 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 he can be part of the plan. Who knows? But um, yeah, no, there, there's definitely room for yeah. more. Exciting. Um, but we'll see what happens. Who knows? I don't know where this journey is going to take me. I'm just trying to take each day as it comes because mm. it's been so overwhelming. I can imagine. Um, but incredible. Absolutely incredible. And I just want to spread the love and positive vibes. And you definitely are. Get people feeling good. You are. And something you're also known for on your Instagram and in social media in general is just kind of how real and honest you are. You do mm -hmm. a lot of like IGTVs and you also used to do a lot of pictures and videos of like showcasing different poses, cellulite. Is that yeah. something you're still going to do? Uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like I'm all about Insta real. versus reality. Like, come on. Yeah. That's always been what I've been about. But, you know, I'm just, I'm still getting my head around everything that's happened. Mm. It really has been a whirlwind and um, it, it's kind of like settling into my new life. Yeah. Finding find my groove. Like I keep reading, I'm a massive person that read, uh, like I'm massively into quotes and stuff. Yeah. So I follow all these pages on Instagram <laughs> of like all these quotes and every day, like yesterday, three came up one after the another, like the three main pages that I follow. And they were so in tune with everything wow. that I'm doing. And um, they were like, you just need to breathe. Like stop focusing on next, 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 next. Like just be where you're at right yeah. now. Enjoy and it. I'm like, yeah, I do need to just relax mm. and just go back into my own normal lifestyle mm. because I've just been so like, I don't know what's going on. Like my head has been a massive like jumble of things recently. So, and what with Christmas and yeah, New Year it. and, yeah, I think everyone sets themselves new goals and like they mm. want to enter the new year feeling like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I just need to breathe a bit. Um, mm. But yeah, Insta versus reality, like I've always, always uh, that's just embedded in me. I can't, I don't think I could ever not be that person. Yeah. So um, yeah, 100%. Um, with the breathing, I don't know whether I'm on the right path here, but something you've also spoken about is the three, two, one technique. Am I saying that yes. correctly? So tell me for anyone that doesn't know, and I don't know it fully myself, I have read about it, but tell me exactly what that is and how it's helped you. Okay, psychology. So when we're struggling with things, we like to talk ourselves out of things. Mm -hmm. So, oh, I can't do it. Oh, I'm not good at that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm struggling. Oh, this is hard. I can't breathe. Oh, I'm gonna die. It's all, they're all negative yeah. phrases that we yeah. say to ourselves, mm -hmm. right? Because we're struggling at something. The three, two, one technique is basically talking to ourselves, but with numbers. So you, it's there's nothing negative that's coming from it. So, but you're resetting yourself. Right. So when we do a countdown, when I say three, two, one, what does what comes into mind? What does that mean to you? Three, yeah. two, one. You reset yourself. A countdown. Yeah. It's a countdown, yeah. right? But you use that countdown as a moment to just pause, gather your breath, three, two, one. And in your mind, that's like, go again. It's like traffic lights, right? Mm -hmm. Red, red, amber, green. Yeah. You go again and you reset. Um, and it has worked so well for me. And so many other people have already been saying I've been using that technique and it's helped so much. Not even just within the exercise, but day to day life. Like yeah, I someone feel like... that, you know, you go into Starbucks, they get your coffee order wrong. I'm gonna punch you in the face. Take a Three, moment. two, one. Never mind. Don't worry. Thank yeah. you. Have a good day. <laughs> you know. But it's just it's things like that rather than getting stressed about a situation and just being like, three, two, one. Breathe. Go again. Remember That's the world's like, still turning. And use numbers, not words. Here. Yeah. Wow. I'm gonna I'm gonna try that. I'm really inspired by that. I did read about it, but I think that's definitely something that you can implement into daily life yeah. very easily. And I yeah. think it's something I should definitely do because I'm definitely a stresser. It's just a reset button. That's Love all that. it is. Yeah. And so. have you got any other tips or hints that you could share with our listeners that are maybe wanting to go on a journey? Like you said, in New Year, people put a lot of pressure on themselves, especially in January, to be like, right, when it comes to fitness and health, I need to be this. I need to eat like this. I need to look like this. Uh, what advice would you give? Some of the best advice that I would give, don't go looking for quick fixes, mm. fads, detox teas, any of that like quick fixes yeah. because you will only end up doing yourself more damage. Mm -hmm. Try, and that's what the happy body plan is about, to incorporate, you know, just better lifestyle choices. So being a bit more active. If you can skip a bus journey and do a walk instead, do that. Or if you can get up earlier and, you know, go for a walk and then jump on the bus or yeah. do some extra steps in the house or I don't know, take yourself off for a walk on your lunch break or whatever it is and just be a bit more mindful. 
make small changes, which in the longer term mm. have a, you know, a more sustainable effect. Because everyone goes in all guns blazing, oh, this year I'm gonna get my 2020 summer body. And then they do something so drastic, which they're then like, this is not sustainable. Mm. And then they fall off and then they feel guilty. And then it's all these negative emotions again. Yeah. Whereas if you can just start making small changes, which make sense mm -hmm. in your day-to-day -day lifestyle, you're more, you're more likely to continue them. Um, and that's one thing that I've done is like, do something that's sustainable, not drastic. Yeah. Um, and also for people that are wanting to lose a bit of weight, don't measure yourself by scales all the time mm. because the scales fluctuate so much. A lot of it is water weight. Um, it's almost physically impossible to gain fat in, you know, a pound of fat in a day. Right. Um, there's so many variables on it. Again, it's just knowledge. Um, so yeah, don't judge yourself by the scales too much. Just go easy on yourself. Make those small changes, mm -hmm. be consistent and your goals, you will, you will achieve them. Yeah. I feel like I could talk about your whole happy plan for hours. I Let's could do carry it. On. I, I want to we're carry on. We're, we're going for lunch after. We're going for lunch after. I'll carry on probing you with questions. I'm sure I will. But yeah. that was incredible getting to know everything about the happy plan. And I can't wait to see how far that kind of goes and what's coming next. But I'm, I'm even going to go and try myself. I'm really inspired. And I hope that some of our listeners are as well. We're not finished yet. I yeah. do want to get a little bit more personal just okay. before you go. So something you've recently said you've labeled yourself as single but not yes. available i believe yeah so tell me is this because you're killing it yourself that you you know you don't need um, a man or what's the what's think, going on i think because this the last few months have felt so transitional for me like mm. a lot has happened and i just um even in terms of and this is going really deep some people might be like what the hell are you going on about mm. but when i talk about um I want to talk about family cycles. Mm. So like a lot of the stuff that my mum used to do or has done when she was my age, mm -hmm. I repeated it, history repeated itself. And I feel like I've broken that cycle, my family cycle. So I feel like I'm rediscovering myself. And this year is like, I'm really stepping into a place of, I actually don't know who I am at the moment. And so I'm cutting off a lot of things and this whole fitness journey and, mm you know, being a new version of myself, I'm just, I feel like I'm rediscovering Alex. Like this feels really new and it's like a real new chapter for me. Mm. And I'm seeing things that I like and I'm doing a lot of solo traveling and like I'm going to Miami and Cuba and I'm going solo traveling over to Asia, wow. like Bali, Philippines and Thailand. And that's a really scary um, thing to be doing. Mm but I'm so excited to do it because I'm so intrigued by people and people's stories. And I love talking to people and being like, tell me your journey mm -hmm. because you you learn so much from hearing others. Yeah. And I'm just fascinated by the world. I'm fascinated by people and culture. And I just wanna step out into really unknown territory and make myself feel uncomfortable because the last few months have been so uncomfortable, but I've seen the most growth. Yeah. So for me, I'm like, okay, what's next? Like, keep making yourself uncomfortable because that is what's going to push you yeah. into being the most exceptional version of yourself. So, yeah, no one ever got anywhere from being comfortable. So like pushing yourself out that you can. I'm pushing zone, my limits. I'm come. pushing my limits, and this year I'm testing myself. I'm so excited to see what's to coming. see how far I can go, and I just I want to see how far I can go. Like mm. this year is all about self discovery for me, and you know I don't want any guy to distract me from that. If if I meet someone along the way that fits in, fine, but I, it's not a focus of mine. I can't even think about kissing a boy. Like, <laughs> I'm like, ugh. I feel like <laughs> Who I'm a wants teenager to do that again. anyway? Yeah. yeah I'm like, I feel like when you get to a certain age, it's just not a priority. And I like that you're your own priority. Yeah. I think that's so important, especially for like young people these days to put themselves first and to really think about what you want and what you need. And Yeah, and I love dating them. myself, take myself to yeah, the cinema. Yeah, for sure. Take myself for dinners take myself on holiday. Like, I love it. That's brilliant. I'm so you comfortable. Feel that comfortable with yourself. That yeah. You can do that. Yeah. It's cool. And what about your fans? They must want to know so much about your private life. Is it hard knowing what my to friends, share? My friends know everything. What about your fans on Instagram? Oh, my fans on Instagram. I try to share as much as possible. Because you, you are quite open, but do you I'm ever very struggle open. like thinking, okay, I need to hold that back a bit or no? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes I'm like, oh God, maybe I shouldn't have said that. But, you know, um, authenticity and vulnerability has like always been 
ingrained in me. I think I don't have siblings, right? So mm. I think that's where it comes from. Right. It's because I feel like my, my fa- I can't call them fans. My followers are like my friends and my family. So I'm yeah. like, like they're Especially my people. Now, like, yeah. So I've always found it quite easy to open up to other people because the only people I really had to speak to when I was younger were my parents. And sometimes mm. that was like, I couldn't talk to my parents about stuff because then they'd tell the other one and then it was like an <laughs> argument. Yeah. So I needed someone else to speak to. So I've always felt comfortable talking to an outsider Yeah. because I've never had siblings. So I find it quite easy to be open. Just problem shared is a problem halved and you can Definitely. always help people and they relate. And, you know, I've always loved helping other people feel good. So it's a really, really great way to be. Yeah. So you recently updated us on Instagram about your parents. Yes. How are they doing now? Amazing. I'm so glad yeah. to hear. My mum's now in remission. But that, so again, that was like, that was in June time where yeah. she got told that, you know, she's free from cancer. So I think that was part of it, like niggling away in the back of my mm. mind that I, you, you know, it's for anyone that's had a family member go through it. You just try to support as much as you can, but you can never like, you feel so helpless yeah. and you've just got to watch from the sidelines and just pray, pray and pray and pray. And so when you get that, you know, that result through to say you're free, that was when it was like, okay, cool. Now I, I what, what do I do now? Because I felt so like trapped for so long, like not knowing what yeah. is going on. And God knows how my mum was feeling. Like she's the strongest woman I know. And um, she, again, she's like superwoman. It's where I get my powers from. She's amazing, literally like my hero. Um, and my dad is is cool. Like he's taken a leaf out of my book and he's trying to be more active wow. and mindful with his food. So it's nice. I feel like I've had a bit of a, a knock on effect. Like my mum is, they've been so supportive in everything that I've done. They always have done th- since I was a little kid. You know, parents, they always tell you the opposite mm-hmm. of what they want to do. They do it because they love you, right? Exactly. But they are... They're incredible. I've I've got wicked parents, yeah. So. I'm so glad to hear. Yeah. Well, Alex, it's been emotional. It's been amazing getting to know everything that's going on with you today. And I'm I'm so proud of you. I think you've done Thank absolutely you. amazing. I can see why your mum and your parents are just so happy for you. Thank and you are you. glowing from the inside out. Like, honestly, <laughs> you really are. Thank it's, you so much. It's really good to see. It's good to feel, trust me. But what is coming for 2020? What What's next? I know you're taking each day as it comes, but is there anything we can expect from the future? Um... Well, obviously now I've like stepped into the world of fitness. Mm. I definitely, you know, I want to do my nutrition course and um, kind of go down more that avenue. Um, I feel like I've found something that I really love and I'm passionate yeah. about. So definitely we'll see, you know, what other plans I've got and, you know, what more I can put out to help others and just see what happens with that really. Obviously I love doing makeup still. Like mm-hmm. I want to still 100% do makeup. I've got some really exciting campaigns that I'm gonna be doing this year in terms of makeup. So all the things that I'm passionate about, I just wanna delve into a lot more. The solo traveling, I've set up like, um, I've had a travel page for a really long time. So just exploring and just, God knows, this year is all about self-discovery. So um, just stay tuned in. And uh, I'm just, I want to take people on a journey with me. And that's what it's about, really. I can't wait. We're going to be there from the sidelines watching you every step of the way. I really hope so. Because I am I feel like I'm learning about, I feel like I'm journaling and documenting everything. Yeah. And it'd be really interesting to go back mm. and see how I started this year to where I've ended up. Because it's amazing how much can change in a year. Well, we'll all be watching as well. And I, I can't wait. Thank hopefully you. we'll maybe see, I'm sure I'll see you throughout the year all the time with PLT, but hopefully at the end of the year, we'll be able to do this again or something similar and look back at your Yeah. Year, I, I know it's going to be an exciting one for Have you. Have a little catch up. Definitely. In a year's time. Definitely. Put it in the diary That'd be great. now. I'll put it, well, let's get it locked in. <laughs> let's do it. Alex, it's been amazing getting to know you today. Thank, Thank you, you so much for joining us on the podcast on your own and uh, good luck to everything. In the I'm future. doing everything on my own at the moment, it seems. <laughs> and Thank you're you killing so it. Much. That's what you need to do. That's what you've got to do. Thank so continue you so doing much. that and we wish you all the best. Thank you. Yeah. Like I say, we'll be watching you from the sidelines every Thanks day. for having me. Thank you so much to everybody for listening at home. This has been PLT Behind Closed Doors and we will see you next week. Bye.